Hey everybody. So it's been a while since I've done a kind of specific review video in this particular item of clothing. I reviewed once quite a while ago. The video did pretty well, quite a lot of comments, quite a lot of interest in it. But the thing is, since buying this piece of equipment, I didn't really use it for what its intended purpose was because unfortunately for me, the conditions were never right. Anyway, I'm talking about this jacket here, which you probably wouldn't know already because you saw the title of the video. But here's the thing, I spent my money and I've used it a handful of times in the right way. I've never really gone out in proper torrential rain because I've always been able just to kind of wait an hour and the rain dies down. I took it on both ultras, didn't need it, rain didn't come. So it's kind of a bit redundant. Anyway, I wanted to give you a bit of a, an insight into how I do use it. Um, because whilst today is not torrential rain, I'm gonna get wet unless I wear something of this nature. You might be thinking, why are you running with hood down? Well, it's not intentional. I find that the fit on these jackets is superb. Can't fault them. But the hood is way too big. Let me just show you this example. Okay, so running hood up. Okay, so straight away, look, it's got over my eyes. Now I can readjust, but when I'm running, inevitably, even by walking, it kind of bounces down. So I've got the issue here. This is now getting to my eyesight. Don't want that. Move it back. This kind of elastic part here, I believe is supposed to kind of basically be stuck to the head like this to stop the rain from coming in, so on and so forth. But for me, at least my head anyway, this doesn't work. So what I find myself doing is wearing a hat instead. Okay, so this is a Salomon XA hat. Beautiful hat, waterproof, peak, super. Then I bring the hood up, watch out for the ear, bring the hood up and we're ready to rumble. However, when it starts to blow, the wind, it does creep under here because it's not tight. I want some of the kind of elasticated something here just to make some toggles to pull tight, but they don't exist in this particular model. So quite frustrating, quite irritating. Um, so that's one issue I find with it and why it actually becomes quite annoying to run with it just because of the hood situation blowing down and it's like mentally it's not very enjoyable to constantly pulling the hood back up again it just irritates you or at least it irritates me uh, maybe my head's just a weird shape so some positives the jacket itself very very lightweight it also folds up into the pocket so it creates like a little bundle a little bundle for you to put in your ultra pack which is what I did and actually you could just fold it quite neatly as well instead depending on how you want to position things in your pack so very lightweight now breathable ah oh, i'm gonna have to say here that it isn't purely because if i run in heat like today for example seven degrees um not freezing obviously not boiling but i'm two and a half k in and i'm hot i'm feeling overheated i've only got a t-shirt underneath and again, it's kind of, I don't know. I think it's again part of the design of, of these. It's, it's built in order to keep you dry. So therefore it's kind of like a little insulated unit, isn't it? And so because of that, you get very warm, albeit staying dry. You kind of got to make a decision about what you want to go deeper in on. Do you want it to be more breathable, but therefore not as insulated? Or would you rather be fully insulated, but it keeps you warm? I know which I'd prefer, but uh, a mix of both would be ideal right now. It comes complete with a insulated waterproof top pocket here. I noticed some items, especially phones, do become a little bit condensation-y in the pocket. And uh, if you put keys in there, it's basically rubbing against your skin. So something to be aware of because it's uh, not the most functional pocket to be honest with you it's just I find it quite poorly placed for especially doing ultra I wouldn't feel very comfortable wearing this for a long period of time it'll probably rub on the nipple and nobody wants that personally I think I'd make more use out of some side pockets here 
maybe even one at the back because like I say positioning up front here is just a bit awkward and adding to that when you wear a vest you basically got mobile phone or belongings then you've got your vest here and of course the bottle sit up front in the vest so you're basically layering this area here and that's going to be quite uncomfortable um so the thing about it is why am i you know identifying some of these negative points it's a jacket i bought i should know more but you spend the money and it's quite a bit of money and you want the jacket to perform and for me i've really just never been a a great fan of it it's kind of that reluctant you know wear it if i have to but fingers crossed i don't need to it's always the way i'm thinking and like i say you spend the the cash and uh at the time i wasn't sharp enough to really understand kind of the longevity of the piece otherwise i sure enough would have sent it back and uh it's just a bit disappointing isn't it really uh at least that's my experience with it I did go on a run uh, with this jacket and it was when I was wearing a vest and uh, one of the same graces though was that you can basically wrap it around the vest and yourself zip it up and keep all your belongings dry because vests are not waterproof so whilst there are numerous points that I would suggest that areas of development certainly its ability to keep things dry which is the main point of it it does very well I just have a little bit of a a problem with the other parts of the jacket um, so functionality it does what it's supposed to do in terms of all-rounder I think I'll be looking elsewhere as we all know with running gear the biggest problem is you can't always try before you buy and you need to put a lot of time into things like the jackets to know if they really are fit for purpose as I say I'm not in a position to return it there will always be a jacket in my kind of inventory and I'll take it with me but I always find myself just with my fingers crossed thinking hopefully the rain won't be that bad and actually if I'm not going out that far I think I'd rather just get wet some people might feel like I'm knocking Salomon and uh, maybe I shouldn't, maybe I should be praising them for all they do. Now, I love two items of clothing that they sell. The shorts, I think, are second to none. I've got different pairs of shorts and I love them all equally. This hat has seen me through so many races. It's just truly remarkable. Their vests, I didn't warm to. Their socks, I didn't warm to. The shoes that I tested from them, and they're only two granted, I didn't want them. And this jacket is something that I just don't really, don't really have any fond experience of yet. So that leaves me kind of just feeling a little bit deflated about it. And it comes back into price point. If this was a 30, 40 pound jacket, you could kind of, I don't know, make some allowances and you could justify it and convince yourself that it's okay. But at over a hundred pounds, um, for me, I feel like there's probably a better Salomon jacket out there that would suit my knees. But this, in terms of balanced opinion, like I said, and I've been pretty negative, but that's because you know I've got I want to speak my truth. I want to let you know how I personally feel about it. Doesn't mean it's you know gospel and you should believe everything I say, but me running in this jacket that I purchased with my own money, I think my opinion has to be as honest as it can be. And uh, yeah, it's just not a jacket that I would recommend to others. I think at least now what we probably a year and a half on since I bought this jacket there are others out there that are doing things and I'm sure there are rival pieces let's put the hood up again I'm sure there are rival pieces that would be just as good if not better than this jacket I'll see you in the next one just got to keep these ears nice and dry bye